Hey, 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 oh, how's it going, everybody? Now then, what's going on with the e-bike, I all hear you say? <laughs> well, I still got the bike. I'm still going to finish it. But brakes, brakes are doing my head in. Honestly, I've never had so much trouble with brakes in my life. Um, the the Suron brake levers I bought are pants, right? I bought a, a Shimano rear small brake. That's not very good. Then the two front Chinese brakes are bleh, rubbish, right? Well, I don't know if they're rubbish, but I don't think... I'm trying to match up uh, the Suron lever to the Chinese calipers. It's not working anyway. I mean, if a fly was riding it, it wouldn't stop him. <laughs> and I'm a bit heavier than a fly. Anyway, let's have a look what's happening. Okie dokie. <laughs> um, and basically... Uh, <laughs> okay, okay. So if you're new... Okay, so if you've accidentally fell onto this uh, video by mistake and you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, then I'll put a link to the, the build series of the e-bike. It'll be somewhere over there, over there, up there, down there, somewhere in the description. It'll pop up there. Or well, if you're watching on a smart TV, it won't pop up anywhere. <laughs> but anyway, let's get back to my, my woes. Um, the brakes. Now, I tried bleeding the front brake four times because I thought yeah, there must be some air still in it. There was a little bit of air in it, but I got all the air out. But after bleeding it four times, the blinking bleed screw, um, <laughs> it rounded off because I kept taking it off and on so many times. So so that's another thing that did my head in. So I, I get the Dremel and cut the slot into the bleed screw so I could undo it to bleed it a fifth time. <laughs> and it was still too soft. Uh, so I don't know what's going on. I mean, you'll probably put, people will probably comment in the description that um, I'm bleeding it wrong or this or the other. I mean, if you want to, if you want to offer some words of advice, I don't mind put it, put it in the comment section. But uh, so I bled that, I bled the front brakes five times, but I think because it's the sewer on brake mixed with the Chinese front dual calipers, it just doesn't seem to be strong enough. So I'm going to have to chuck that idea straight in the bin. Um, the back brake, I think it's just too small, basically, for the weight of the bike. Um, so I bled, I bled fine, except I did forget to, where the, the hose goes into the uh, lever, because I hadn't looked at it for a while, I forgot I hadn't done it up. So when I squeezed the brake, it went, Thst. so anyway, I enjoyed that. It was fun cleaning up uh, the old brake fluid. But um, so my woes are that... I obviously got to rethink the whole braking system. What I've bought so far, I've got to chuck away. Just a waste of money, really, you know. <laughs> um, but if you know of any good brakes that will suit this build, because I'm building it as a MSVA, so it's supposed to have that sight glass. I think it's supposed to have that sight glass, so you can see the level. And uh, the levers, I've got to have the little round ball on the end. I think it's just in case it falls into somebody or something. It's just for safety reasons. So if you know of any good brakes online somewhere, hiding, for a, a good price, because, listen, I'm not a rich man. <laughs> I'm a poor man, so I can't afford to spend endless money on brakes, you know, over and over and over. Um, so if you know of any, you know, good brakes that suit the criteria of a glass sight, ball end... Uh, let me know in the in the comment section. I don't mind if they're good used uh, second hand pair, but um, anyway, so I can't use the brakes that's on it. And I've got to change them. And also, I don't know if you've looked online lately, but the price of brakes has gone through the roof. It's they're literally fifty or sixty pound more than when I last looked at brakes for the for the bike the first time. I should have bought the the brakes. I should have brought the proper brakes <laughs> uh, at the time I was trying to save a bit of money by going to the Suron and mixing the brakes up and stuff but it didn't work out so um, 
really, this is just me having a video about moaning. So if you don't like me moaning, <laughs> then I'm sorry. There's uh, nothing really new has happened on the e-bike except bleeding and brakes and it all not working. Um, is there anything else I can add to this? I mean, I could waffle on for ages, but uh, <laughs> you probably get bored of this. But I'm just reassuring anybody who's been uh, following this video series, I'm still doing the e-bike. I, I think I did say once or twice, I'm not the fastest builder in the world. I'm not any rushed. I'm not in any rush to to get the bike out on the road. You know, I'm the kind of person who can bide their time and just plod along. Um, so, uh, if you if you do see anything or know of any brakes, let me know. Or any brake companies out there looking. I know I haven't got a massive video channel. Uh, Magura or is it Magura? Is that the right thing? Or Tektro or something like that? Or Shimano? I don't care. Send me your brakes. I'll have them. I'll try them out for you. I'll give you an honest uh, review. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's an update on this uh, bike series. Like I said, I'll put the links at the end at the beginning, in the, in the comment section, I'll put them everywhere so you can catch up on the e-bike build. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video of me waffling on and having a moan, then give it a like. Also, don't forget, subscribe, because it helps me out. And remember, I don't know what I said remember for, I'm just gonna say, <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Hoi! <laughs>